this particular car had a very winning record. As far as we can tell, that are completely documented, it raced over 50 races, and over half of those were to a first place win. When I'm driving this car, what's going through my head is total disbelief. I did not grow up in a privileged environment, and I never thought I'd have more than some low-end driver. I've exceeded my expectations in the car arena. My name is Bruce Meyer, and I'm the current custodian for John Von Neumann's 1957 625-250 TRC. John von Neumann was very California-centric. He was the Ferrari, Volkswagen, the Porsche distributor, really the pillar of sports car racing in California. In 1957, John von Neumann ordered two very special TRCs with 625 Le Mans slash Formula One engines in them, which were two and a half liter engines, more powerful than any other engine that had been put in a TRC. John Von Neumann was a very accomplished driver, and his right hand was Richie Ginther, and Richie ran his stable of race cars and also raced John's cars as well. So between Richie Ginther and John Von Neumann, it was a winning team. In 1957, the car ran with the 625 engine, and then Von Neumann ordered from the factory engine number 0750TR and had Richie Ginther put the engine in in order to shoehorn this big V12 into what used to be a four-cylinder. They needed the big hood scoop, so this then became John Von Neumann's hot rod, the car he won the most races in. And now with this new hot rod, state-of-the-art V12, three-liter engine, it rocked. It won the Grand Prix of Mexico in Avondaro. It won in Santa Barbara, Salt Lake City, Pomona, Sacramento, San Diego, Palm Springs, Laguna Seca, Riverside, Nassau, this car raced against the best of the best and won. Something special about the V12 3 liter 250TR engine. This car, and only this car, is a marriage of two icons the 250TR engine and the TRC, which most people feel is one of the prettiest Ferraris ever designed. This particular car I had known about for many, many years. And I had many of the brokers and car finders looking for this car because I'm a great lover of hot rods. This one very much fit my collecting profile. So it wasn't until 2001 
that I heard about the car and that it was going to be auctioned off in a sealed bid silent auction, which is pretty scary because you don't know what to bid. I put a bid in and then I worried and I put another bid in and then the night before the auction I just bet the ranch. So I was the lucky bidder. So when I'm driving this car it's still very special for me that I'm driving something that is historic, fun, makes all the right noises and looks so pretty. I realize I'm just the caretaker. Can't take any of this with me, but if I think I had one car that they said you can take one with you, this would be it. This just checks every box for me.